7 30 in the morning on thursday and uh, i'm on my way to the uh, meeting of the association of specialist providers of dentistry so for those of you who are as good at geography as i am i'm in the bottom right hand corner of the country and uh, need to get up to the middle well i'm at the station they're busy upgrading uh, the forecourt and putting a bus station in it's a stressful business traveling by train i never like traveling by train it's too time sensitive you're like two minutes too late and you miss the train etc so there's all that stress about whether you're going to get there on time got to Birmingham New Street Station okay so uh, as you can see it's undergoing a lot of renovation works there's uh, for anyone looking for a dental practice in Birmingham there's a there's a nice one there for sale multiple probably suit a corporate now I've got to find the uh, Malmaison Hotel which if memory serves me correctly is this way it's in a building called the mailbox Birmingham's a funny sort of place it's uh, I don't know, it just reminds me of parts of London that are <laughs> oh, I don't know it's not it's not really grand scale and it's not exactly pedestrian scale either right so, there's obviously some very very nice buildings coupled with uh, with some some ones like that which look like they've been built out of wooden bricks it's a real um, eclectic mixture of styles there's a fantastic uh, I suppose you'd call it uh, Art Deco building up there Charters and yet over here you've got a car park which is I think I can only what well, could be best described as a lightning cage I think if there was a massive extraterrestrial attack on Earth and they were throwing lightning bolts at, at the Earth, uh, this is probably the best place to be. Ah, here we are. Underneath the underpass. It's quite a sort of a merrily decorated underpass. Looking at it. Yes, they've definitely made an effort with this underpass. And uh, here we've got the Malmaison. When I was looking for directions on my phone, I saw it was described as a, a welcoming canal side brothel. But in fact, uh, on second look, it actually says welcoming canal side bolt hole. So either way, I'm sure it's going to be very nice. Well, I made it. Very nice in here. Music's a little bit loud, but uh, I'm on in about uh, 20 minutes, so I'm just going to chill out. I'm not going to film inside the meeting because um, there's something called a reasonable expectation of privacy, which basically means uh, you shouldn't film people on private premises unless you have their consent and I'm not going to try and get a consent off a bunch of lawyers <laughs> so uh, I won't uh, won't be filming but I'll uh, let you know as soon as I've, I'm out I'll, I'll let you know how it went and uh, they're, they're discussing internal stuff at the moment it's one of the um, one of the good things about these ASPDs and NASDALs is that they do they share knowledge and so uh, it benefits the profession it benefits them of course uh, but actually they're, they're pretty free uh, in in their sharing of the knowledge um, which is odd because it's 
it's a problem called the riddle of the commons where where it's not in their interest to um, share the knowledge because they lose a competitive advantage if they tell everyone else something that they only they know then um, there's, there is a loss of competitive advantage however um, of course they, they do of course benefit from uh, what everyone else reveals and because there's only one of them and lots of the others then uh, the the knowledge is leveraged um, best strategy is obviously to go in there listen to everyone and not say a thing and um, perhaps a few of them do do that but um, anyway it's so uh, it's pretty busy so it seems to be working pretty well for them can't believe it I'm supposed to be filming a, an empty room and everyone keeps coming through so I'm going to turn the camera off before I get a a lawsuit. Well, here we are, back where we started about uh, 12 hours ago, Canterbury West Station car park, just a half an hour drive and uh, that's it. That was, that was quite an interesting day, I suppose it cost the association uh, about £3 for every minute that I spoke. But, uh, as I have said, they're a nice bunch of people and uh, it's probably worthwhile uh, once every couple of years. It's quite a nice little uh, idea to go and see them. So Anyway, I'm tired now, so it's been a long old day and uh, this station will be nice when it's finished. But uh, it's a bit bleak on a th Thursday evening in the rain so I'm gonna go home and uh, have a nice cup of tea and I'll talk to you later